Welcome. In a previous video, I took the mud flaps off my 1997 Land Cruiser, and I have it here in my wash sink. And I'm going to clean it up, and then when I get it cleaned up, I'll be using this Cerakote Trim Coat. These are some wipes, and it's made for restoring plastic trim pieces. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link below to this in the description, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in order to clean this, I'm going to be using Super Clean, and they sent me some product in the past, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. So I'll soak this down, I'll let it sit for a little bit and then I'm going to scrub this with a brush and maybe a toothbrush and try and get all this dirt off of it. And you want to use this in a well ventilated area and also the Cerakote too. So I may actually clean one of these in this sink for the video and I'll probably clean the others outside. Okay, I have that partially cleaned. I'm going to go take these outside and clean them up with the hose. It'll be easier. I'll spray them down with the super clean and then I'll use the brush to brush them off. And I ultimately want this to just be plastic. I don't want any dirt, don't want any grease, grime, anything else on these. So I'll continue the video once these are all cleaned up and dried and we'll apply the Cerakote. Okay, so I scrubbed these with the super clean and I had to scrub multiple times. It had just years. This is 23 years of, you know, asphalt and stuff on them. So I'd spray it and I scrubbed it, rinsed it, did that a couple times. It looks like there's some water spots on here maybe. So I'm going to wipe these down with some alcohol. I didn't clean the inside quite as well as the outside because it doesn't show. You can see here this has some kind of a white something or other. So I'm going to wipe these down one last time and then I'll put the Cerakote on. Okay, so I have these wiped off. First I was wiping it with a disposable shop towel and it got lint on it so I switched over to a microfiber and you can see this didn't get very dirty. So it means we had it pretty clean before. So I have six trim pieces here. I also have the running boards ready to go. Okay, so I have the Cerakote trim coat wipes. So it comes with some gloves. These look like vinyl gloves. And then we have the wipes. There's ten here, I think. Yes. I'm going to swap these nitrile gloves out. They're getting kind of dirty. Okay, so we have the towel and that is a solvent smell. Wow. So I'll just wipe these across, overlapping coats. So it's going to be hard to get inside of all these letters. Yeah, I think I got it. And you can see this isn't getting dirty, so we got it pretty clean. Okay, so I have the back surface done there. I'll switch over to this piece. This is a lot rougher.
this is more of a rubbery type surface. And I think this wipe is just about done. You can see on the inside it didn't get it quite as clean, but if you look at the rest of this, it's very clean, considering. Okay, so I'll let these dry and I'll go hit up one of the running boards. I'll be using a new wipe for that. Okay, I have that coated. I might have a little bit more on here, so I'll go treat some of the backside of the other pieces. Okay, so now I'm kind of pressing kind of hard to get the last of the stuff out of here, and this is kind of a rough area. So the one on the right has Cerakote on it, and this one does not. So you can see there's a little bit of a sheen there. And here's the untreated one. So here are some other pieces. The right has Cerakote on it, the left does not. And this is more of a rubber piece. The right, Cerakote. Left does not. Now I'll go take a look at my running boards. This might be a little hard to see because it's in the shade, but I have the Cerakote on here. And this is the other side. Okay, so I have it here and I have some water. I'm going to test it out. There we go. It's beading right up. That's nice. Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick summary here. So this is the shiny piece, the smooth piece, and it's not perfect when you look at it up close, but from far away it looks pretty good. I mean, it's like a little streaky here, but it's not bad and it's much better than it was before. And I don't know if putting a second coat on would make it look perfect, but frankly, I don't really care. Maybe like next year I'll go and clean it up and put a refresh it a little bit, you know. But, you know, mud flaps are going to get dirt on them. They're going to get mud on them. So I don't expect them to be perfect. 
and I expect that I'll redo it every once in a while and clean them up. But I really like the result I got thus far. I think it's great. You know, I put some on the back here where, you know, like mud and snow. I don't drive this in the winter, but, you know, snow would potentially collect here. So I don't know that this is going to keep that from happening, especially since this is so rough from gravel and stuff hitting it so much. But I think that turned out great. This is a more rubbery piece. Now this has a texture on it and there's no streaks on this. It turned out good. Same thing here. So if I had a long trim piece that was smooth, you know, I don't think it would have like streakiness. It's just kind of hard. There's so many different gaps in here, but um, you know, I think it would work well. It definitely blends in nice on this texture. So another thing I wanted to bring up is, I think I mentioned it earlier, that I've seen a gloss version of this. And I emailed Cerakote to ask them about that. And they said when they originally released this, they had two variants, a regular and a gloss, and the regular wasn't very popular. So they got rid of that and they're just doing the gloss now. So if you see references online to the gloss, that's what the regular is now. It's what you buy as gloss. And as you can see, it's kind of shiny here, but when you get on a textured surface, there's a little bit of shine to it, but it doesn't look bad. It just looks like it's new is all. So, so we'll see how this holds up over time. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video someday. But that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.